good afternoon. <sighs> I'm sweaty today. Don't know if you can tell, but well, it has been over a month since my last update. Things have been happening, um, but since you last saw me, I am now blonde again. My hair was green, um, but now it's kind of turned a very light blue that like you can't really see on the camera, but I like it anyway. Just got home, did some shopping. I just really wanted to get out of the house because if you don't know, but the, actually today, the UK has come out of their second lockdown today. Um, but I mean, I've still been working. Um, I've been working from home because again, I don't know if you know, but I've started an internship with Clayhill Arts. I'm gonna leave all like, the details in the description below. But that's been two, nearly three months now. And it's, I love every single second of it. It's so good. Um, so I do miss going in. It's one day a week, every Thursday. So today's Wednesday, Wednesday the second is today. So I'm gonna be doing some of like the online stuff tomorrow. If you want more information about that, I can make another video, but I also recently wrote a blog post for Clayhill, so I'm gonna leave that in the description below as well. Why not? Um, I mean, lots of things have been happening. I've been busy, still working at the coffee shop one day a week, every Monday, but now we're back to normal. Normal. <laughs> um, so I'm now doing like my three shifts a week. So get back in a bit of a routine. I've been like, going to bed at like half four in the morning. Not good. <laughs> and obviously for work, I've had to like get up like around nine to start for 10. So I'm trying to get like a routine back again because I want to be up early. Now like the nights are getting darker. I just miss the sunlight and I get like, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm like being a hypochondriac, but like seasonal depression kind of. So I like get really meh when it gets dark earlier so i what time did it, what is that on that is that a bird no i'm not glasses on um yeah i'm trying to get up a bit earlier so i did set an alarm for nine didn't happen i woke up at half 11 um it's 10 to 1 now well you can probably see it's 10 to 1 now um I went to bed really early last night. I just had like a horrible headache. I realised I didn't have any caffeine yesterday. So we had to change that. So I went to Sainsbury's because my best friend Jessie has got me addicted to vegan cold brew. <laughs> it's so blooming good. Oh my God. Like, thank you so much. This is the espresso as a barista. I know you have to say espresso because I'll get triggered when someone says espresso. <laughs> So double X espresso cold brew with almond milk because the vegan ones are like huge. This was £2.40. It's actually ch it's cheaper in Sainsbury's than Asda. It's two fifty in Asda. So I went to Sainsbury's. And all the like non-vegan cold brews are tiny for like the same price. And this is like, it doesn't taste like almonds, like almond milk. It's so good. Kind of high in caffeine, which we love vegan, gluten-free, kosher bpa free whatever that means but i'm obsessed with it and this might help with my headache because i have a headache right now and i've also been drinking a lot of sneak oh it's wet Ugh. um sneak energy i haven't had that for two days so that's probably why i had a really bad headache so i went to bed like around half 11 which is early for me considering half past four is my normal bedtime <laughs> Um, so it feels good to be up and about. I just wanted to get some fresh air, get outside, pop to Sainsbury's, and I'm also obsessed with the vegan no sausage roll. Again, thank you, Jesse, for introducing me to this wonderfulness. It tastes better than a sausage roll. Like, I'm not a vegan, but if I was, <laughs> my fridge would be full of these. Um, and I need to stop spending money, but I wanted a new glass for my cold brew. This was only one fifty. I'm gonna give it a bit of a wash because you know coronavirus. Yeah, one pound fifty. I just love like it's textured on the inside, like all bubbly and stuff. So it reminds me of bubble wrap. So I was like, mm, yes, I need it. So I'm gonna give that a bit of a wash. It's a bit wobbly. You can't see it, but it's like rounded on the bottom. Okay, that's faulty manufacturing possibly um 
The other bits that I've got in the bag, I went to H&M because, H&M? No, I didn't. I went to B&M. <laughs> what is my brain? Um, I went to B&M. They recently like opened up a shop in Taunton, right next to Sainsbury's. So I was like, <laughs> any excuse to go to B&M. Um, they have like the most amazing like selection of Christmas presents. Um, and like I bought like a Capricorn, like there's like constellation stuff in there. There's like mugs. Um, I mean, it's a bit dirty, but... <clears throat> Did I get that from B&M? No, I didn't. That's a lie. Never mind. I won't show you that. Um, Capricorn mugs, like books, um, like little trinket dishes, like all with like everyone's constellation and stuff on there. And they also have like little trinket trays for like each month of like the birthstone of each month. So they're really cute. So I went back in there to get some goodies and whatnot. So I cannot show you what's in this bag unfortunately yeah i'm gonna drink some cold brew have breakfast brunch <laughs> and i got an email from clay hill i need to read and get that work done so i thought why not have a nice little cold brew crack out the laptop and the notebooks get some internship work done that'll be nice on this wonderful wednesday i mean i still yeah i still got a headache but i'm all right taking some painkillers um so I think just getting work done and being productive like kind of helps my headache. I know like looking at a screen will probably not be good, but to be honest, having my hair up really tight, ow, that doesn't help. It's blue, <laughs> kind of. I mean, it was really like beautiful green, like my plant green. But, you know, it's like 30 washes. I think I've washed it like 10, 11, 12 times. But I like it anyway. What else has been happening? Just I don't know what you know and don't know since the last update. <laughs> Did I tell you I'm engaged? <laughs> Did I tell you that? Um, I don't know if you noticed me, probably this on my hand, but yes, I'm engaged. <laughs> um, my amendment anniversary was September the 6th. So it's only been nearly three months. Um, we went to Torquay. My colleague suggested this absolutely beautiful place called Thatcher's Rock. So we went down there, had like made like picnic food and stuff and had a little walk around, which I'm not gonna do ever again because I still get nightmares kind of from it. Like I don't like the heights. Ben hates heights. And I didn't realize like it's the cliffs are just like a sheer drop. Like you have the beautiful view, it's like, sloped down and then you can see like the rock i'll insert some pictures around the screen so you know what i'm talking about but there's like a little walkway you can go around the cliffs and stuff Ugh. and like just then like i only recently started my antidepressants so they were like really affecting like the fatigue in my legs so i physically could not get up the steps like i had to like lift my legs <laughs> um yeah so we like turned around I went back, just had a picnic. Um, I didn't feel good because the day before and the day before that, the 5th and 4th, I've been having like, or had like really bad anxiety because I was just getting used to like my antidepressants and stuff. Um, so I just didn't feel good, to be honest. So getting out and about, like I wanted to just enjoy the anniversary. Obviously I didn't want to like just stay in bed and feel sorry for myself because it was our 10 year anniversary. like. There's a lot to celebrate, so we wanted to hang out together, enjoy the day. When we had a picnic, it started to chuck it down with rain, which I'm so mad about. <laughs> and Ben was like, oh, I need to give you a present quickly. I was like, okay. So I like closed my eyes, held out both hands because for some reason I was expecting him to get me a Nintendo Switch controller because it was like something that I mentioned that I wanted. <laughs> and then he just like pulled out the box and so said, will you marry me? And I just went, what? <laughs> Which is obviously not the answer that you want. Um, obviously I said yes, had a bit of a cry in the rain, so romantic and cute, and then we just like legged it back to the car and then went home, which was nice. And we had a cheeky McDonald's because Ben's mum like sent us some money for like a congratulations and like anniversary and stuff. So we'd like used it to get dinner. McDonald's, fantastic. <laughs> so, this is the like the second ring actually because the first one didn't fit like I have fat AF fingers <laughs> and we went to like get a new one like resized but they didn't have 
my size in that style of ring so we just like looked for one together different um, styles and whatnot so I can get it off my chubby finger um, you probably won't be able to see because um, my camera is absolutely naff hello focus can you see no never mind absolutely love it and I, I kind of broke it the other day <laughs> again I don't know if you can see it, like here it's a bit warped because I whenever I shut the door I walk as I shut the door because it's just what I do and my ring caught on the door handle and I felt my soul leave my body because <laughs> it was so painful yeah can you see that a little bit like this is nice and round and then whoop but I kind of like it it's unique um there's a bit of a chunk taken out of it and what's funny is that my mum did exactly the same thing with her wedding ring <laughs> caught it on the door handle, took a chunk out of it, so I'm like, it just runs in the family, so it's all good. Um, yeah, let's get some cold brew. <laughs> I'll shut up. It's an absolute mess in here, but we also decorated for Christmas yesterday. We've had a little move around. So the TV is now where the tree used to be. I need to move the duvet. I need to move the duvet and then finish wrapping like the tinsel around the banister. And our beautiful tree. Got some new decorations. So cute. And we also got a new sofa. It's nice and green. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's like a dark green, which I love. It's fake leather. I believe it might be real. Don't come at me if it's real. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love it. And then we've got the... Oh, hello. <laughs> um, the fireplace all done. All the tinsel and stuff. The lights. Ben loves putting... Well, I say loves. He doesn't love it. <laughs> ben put the lights around the outside of the wall. Um... I got the wreath on the door. Yeah, we like to keep it a bit minimal because our house is small. But I love the tree there this year because the sofa used to be here. The TV was there and the tree was there. So whenever we sat on the sofa, like we couldn't enjoy the tree and like the lights. So now that the sofa's there and we can watch the telly on Christmas Day and enjoy the lights on the tree. So well chuffed with that. Got lots of Christmas Christmassy bits. My favourite time of year. It's like having a theme <laughs> for my presents and stuff. So this year we've got robins and Christmas puddings. With like some ribbons, like the same colours. Got like Christmas cards for family. And matching gift tags, little puddings. And I was obsessed with these cards. Oh, there's the robins there. <laughs> Dash on through the snow. Like I had to get these. Like they're absolutely incredible. And got some gift bags and i don't know what these are called i call them like scruffies <laughs> i have no idea what they're actually called but my favorite time of year is like kitting out with all like the christmasy wrapping stuff like i absolutely love doing it my favorite time of year oh, mess so yeah we got my cold brew got some of these like i need a snack to get me through internship work so this is my snack very healthy breakfast and a coffee. So let's get to working.
This is getting out of hand. I am Billie Eilish. I always get so tired around this time. It's three o'clock. It doesn't feel like three o'clock at all, but like the sun's already going down and it looks really nice outside, but it's really cold. <laughs> the heating's on. But yeah, I always get so tired. Like, no matter how much I've slept, even if I wake up like around one or two, I'm still tired around this time. <laughs> I'm staying awake. I think like, I'm not sure, I've drank coffee, why am I asleep? I think maybe because I like, crash after a little like caffeine boost. But yeah, I just get very, very sleepy. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed like the little doodles I've done. I've started like, getting really into these random drawings. It's like a TikTok trend. This thing is called, it's called Beautiful Trash Art. Um, I'll try and find like a link for it and put it in the description but it's so fun to do like I'm so like I'm such a critic when it comes to my artwork and not feeling like my artwork is like good to show yeah, I'm just very critical about it like being perfect but it's just so fun to just doodle and create like even if they look really ugly I kind of really like them <laughs> And like all the different shapes I can create and all these like different looking characters and stuff so I might even use some of the doodles maybe for like my poetry book or I think one of my friends has asked me to like draw like a personalized one as well so that'll be really fun to do yeah this is really really fun like I always get like these little motivational boosts to draw but I never know what to draw and because what I want to create what is in my head and I can't put it on paper I give up and feel like really meh about it but um this is really fun <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna do some more I might because I originally bought this like for artwork specifically for the poetry book but now I'm just gonna use it as a random drawing book like watercolor paintings I've done like the one line face art which was also really really fun to do that was like like traced from my actual face and I also wrote down like the instruction not like kind of instructions from like the TikTok trash art video so I don't have to like keep watching the TikTok on loop to know how to do the beautiful trash art drawn some like cobwebs and stuff one of my poems might use like this as a background or like I kind of wanted to do my my poems in the book but split up the pages of some artwork and like I don't really know what this like represents to everyone but to me the purple like purple is the colour for fibromyalgia so I kind of wanted to use that as like the brain fog and like the red could be like smudged lipstick or how I feel when I get like cognitive issues and I can't figure out I like my words and how to speak or like how to communicate so how it feels like your words feel blurred so whatever people can interpret that as and I just love my trash art this is Nelly I don't know what to call this person <laughs> but I just like how like kind of similar they look like you can kind of tell maybe this is my style um, I like adding different eyebrows on different mouths like the ears and stuff I just love it I might fill up the rest of this book with beautiful trash art because it's just fun <laughs> and it's like a couple of minutes 
gets my creativity out for a little bit. Yeah, this is really, really fun. So yeah, just all sorts have been happening, really. So I've just been doing some of my internship work, making some notes in this... I love this notebook they gave me. It's like corkboard. as like natural materials, which I just... I'm obsessed with it. So I've been making some notes, um, some website idea notes. I'm not sure how much I can say in my vlog, because obviously we're going to be doing some videos, promotional stuff, like... Instagram stuff for the project they're working on so I'm not going to say too much on the vlog so I'm going to leave all Clay Hill's social media links and stuff in the description and as I, as I said I'm going to leave my blog post in the description as well so you can check that out see what we're getting up to um maybe I'll do some more updates on this channel and you can like go over to Clay Hill socials and see what we're getting up to so yeah it won't be I mean like in person for a while because obviously where I live we're in a tier two um so it's tier one tier two and tier three obviously tier three is like the most serious one so um it's actually where Ben's gone back to work today after a month off because um the pubs have been closed so it's kind of weird being home alone <laughs> um yeah it's weird not hear hearing him scream at his computer games when he's playing World of Warcraft <laughs> Um, yeah, it's really, really weird. I don't like it, to be honest. I love having... I mean, we don't really, like, hang out too much. Obviously, I'm upstairs, he's downstairs. But, like, just having kind of, like, knowing I've got some company in the house. So, it's really, really weird. But, um, yeah, so we're in tier two. Which means I won't be able to go back to do my internship, like, in person until the new year. Because they shut over Christmas as well. So, for the next two three weeks I'm going to be still working from home doing these tasks have the Christmas break even though I'll still be working at the coffee shop over Christmas and then going back in the new year and then hopefully carry on working on these projects prepare for the launch of this new project so lots of exciting things are happening um I'm hope maybe I'm well I was going to say hopefully I'll vlog more I don't know what my YouTube schedule is I'm meant to be every Friday but it's a mixture of, yeah, I've been really busy. I've also been, like, kind of relaxing over the past month as well. Trying to catch up on mental mental and physical health. Looking after myself. Looking after the house. Doing chores and stuff that I wouldn't normally do. Obviously, because working, I don't really have the mental or physical capacity <laughs> to always keep up with that kind of stuff. So I've just been just using my time for other stuff and oh also yeah i don't think i mentioned in a vlog me and jesse have made a facebook group called somerset writers and i've also made the instagram and basically we went to do it like over lockdown but um both of our like mental and physical health has also come into play with like not really posting that much but i mean it was originally for lockdown we're gonna keep it going because it's just a bit of fun as well but it's to get people around the local area to join the group and we did like daily writing prompts over lockdown to get people creative and to get people writing share their work with everyone in the group like kind of workshop it like advice um and tips and stuff like feedback on everyone's writings but we sort of do like poetry prompts short stories like stories under 50 words um, we do haikus, like sonnets, like all kind of stuff. So I'll also leave a link to that in the description as well as the Instagram. And on the Instagram yesterday, I don't know when you'll be watching this, but on the 1st of December, I posted the December daily writing prompts as well. I mean, whenever you're watching this and you want to join in, like copy whatever prompts you want, but basically just like to get inspired from each word, write a poem, a short story, like a list of words that inspire you when you like see the daily prompts and stuff so that's really really fun to do i've written a few poems um and i've also been like reworking some of the poems that i've already written to fit the prompts and i've been sending my poems to jesse as well and she's been like workshopping them reading them like giving me feedback before i can publish them in the future so this is really fun like i love being creative and writing obviously working on a project with jesse as well because we're both in lockdown, so that's a way for us to like speak to speak with each other, WhatsApp each other, um, share ideas and thoughts and stuff. 
while kind of having this little creative project um our own like friend groups and stuff have joined into this one big group so it's nice to see how everyone like comes together um and kind of like I've invited friends that like I know enjoy writing but I've never really like seen any of their work before um so it's been really interesting seeing how people write um and getting involved so that's been really really cute and fun so that's another project we've been doing I have so many projects <laughs> poetry book my internship youtube like I love having so many projects to work on <laughs> And if I, like, lose inspiration for one thing, I've got something, like, as a backup as well. So, yeah, that's been, that's been happening. And oh, I need to wake up. <laughs> I've eaten my sausage roll. I'm also obsessed with giant Watsits, like, the flaming hot ones. They're kind of a little bit spicy. I've been addicted to spicy food recently. I love jalapenos. I love putting loads of chilli powder, like, in all of my food. Um... I love spicy food so yeah I've got some other stuff to be doing on my to-do list I need to clean my windows because at this time of year there's like more condensation and it gets a little bit colder like the windows get a bit disgusting I was going to finish hoovering but my back kind of hurts because I, I think I overdid it yesterday with all the hoovering and cleaning um I need to tidy the room a little bit so I'm gonna probably chill out for the rest of the day it's quarter past three. I've been talking for like quite a long time. Um, I've got some videos to get through on my watch list on YouTube. And I've been watching some stuff on Netflix. Sort of. I've, I just finished watching The Fall because I'm obsessed with Gillian Anderson. Yes. <laughs> um, love her so much. So I've been watching, just finished watching The Fall. And there's a film I want to watch. I forgot what it's called. It's like a war film. And one of the actors has the same name as my dad. So I'm like, why are you in this film? <laughs> and I've also got Amazon Prime film. So there's a few things on there I want to watch. So I might just spend the rest of the afternoon, evening. Oh, what's this? The Earth. Alien Earth. Worlds. It's just been added to Netflix. One Home series. Millions of species. Okay. <laughs> and I've also started watching Breaking Bad for the fifth time, so I've got lots of things to get through. <laughs> my goal, I think, for 2020 was to get through the whole of my Netflix watch list, but I don't think that's going to happen because I just keep adding stuff to it. I've got like The Haunting of Bly Manor to watch, um, MasterChef, Gogglebox. Um, I think there's some new RuPaul's All Stars to watch. I finished watching Ratchet, I want to watch The Crown because it also has Gillian Anderson in it as well and there's like some Christmas stuff that's been added so I'm like I need to watch what I've already put on there before I carry on but it's fine, <laughs> gives me something to do, um, something to look forward to now that I'm like back to work so I can try and enjoy the evenings, maybe get through my to-do list and i'm gonna stop talking now because i'm getting a bit boring so yes <laughs> Why am I not sleepy? To be honest. Um, 
it is ten past five and I thought I would sign off the vlog here. I've just been doing some internship work for the past hour and a half. As you've seen from the last clip, I've been making a mood board for some ideas, inspiration, taking images off Pinterest. And I've also made a Pinterest board so I know like where to reference the photos. So I've been doing that and I'm a little bit hungry so I might make some food before picking Ben up from work at six. And there's some more YouTube videos and stuff I want to watch. So I'm trying not to lie down because I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> um, oh, my eyes are like, you know, like when your eyes get itchy because you're sleepy. But um, I'm so cosy. Oh, so cosy. But um, yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching this video and apologies for my terrible uploading schedule. <laughs> um, I hope you can understand and I just hope you enjoy the videos when I can upload. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching today's vlog. If you like, I don't even know why, I don't even remember my outro. <laughs> uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Is that what I say? Is that what I say? And make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Jelly Bean family. I'd love to have you and we're nearly at 700 subscribers. I don't wanna say subscribers friends jelly beans <laughs> and yeah make sure to click that notification bell so you get a bloated a bloat a bloated don't get bloated when i have <laughs> help me <laughs> make sure to click that notification bell Ooh. to make sure you get notified whenever i upload a new video whenever that will be and until my next video, again, whenever that will be, make sure to stay happy, stay humble, stay festive as it's nearly Christmas. Woo! And <laughs> we'll start. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Most Christmases. Um, so from the 23rd, it might feel kind of normal. Uh, but up until then, we just will just have to wait and see and make the most of every day. And uh, I'm still excited. I'm still like really excited.